I'm here in Medjugorje and I'm at Hotel Craze and I'm with, what's your name? Azucena Chiu. And you came here the first time? Yes. And you brought your daughter, what's her name? Michelle Lester. Michelle and her mother. And what is the experience for you being in Medjugorje now? Oh, it's been wonderful. Mm -hmm. It is a place that um, brings us peace mm -hmm. and we feel like we're free to show our faith. Like everybody's praying the rosary in the streets, and I feel free to pray too. And um, everybody's nice and loving. Yes. And for you, what what is Medjugorje for you? The first experience now? Um, it's been very peaceful, and I'm not a very I don't show my faith too much, but I think maybe we're moving in the right direction. You feel that that's a nice thing being here? That yeah, it feels nice. Mm -hmm. It feels more, yeah, it feels more open because I feel like we're not used to openly showing that we're Catholic all the time, mm -hmm. especially not like where we're from. Mm -hmm. So it definitely feels different here. Mm -hmm. How was it when you went up now um, cross mountain this morning? How was the experience? It was very peaceful. It was quiet and kind of give you some time to think a lot mm -hmm. about everything. Hard for you walking up over the stones? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. How was it? Yeah. Um, it was difficult and it was hurting. Mm -hmm. But I think at the end it was worth it. Being for up the, the side, all yeah, the for the view and the people and just how it felt up there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And for, for you, the Catholic faith, mm -hmm. are you getting closer here to the faith? Or are, are you feeling Catholic or are you on the way to come closer to your faith? I'm coming more to terms with it, mm -hmm. I think. That's mm -hmm. beautiful, I can see it. I can see you around the mountain, you are so peaceful. Mm -hmm. And for you, the mountain, <laughs> how was it for you? Well, for me, when I started going up, mm -hmm. it was hard and then got harder. And I had time to think about life and I was not paying attention to anything but the rocks. Mm -hmm. Trying to walk on those rocks that are, is very hard. But then I, I was thinking that it was like life, right? Um, sometimes it's hard and sometimes it's harder. Mm -hmm. And when... Um, when I look at other people walking in other paths, I was thinking, wow, they choose the easier part, right, of the path. And, um, and I was thinking, that's how life is too. Sometimes we choose the wrong things and make it harder. Um, so when I was walking in some other parts, that was very, very difficult. Mm -hmm. I thought about my life. And um, and then when I was in easier parts, I was remembering how much I, how much easier was life, and how much stronger I was. And um, I always tried to have God in my life, um, and that's what helped me to go through. But you also made the experience that suffering brought you closer to God? Oh yes, yes, make me stronger mm -hmm. and then make me realize because sometimes when you're going through a bad part in your life you think that God is not there but then I realized that He was always there I wouldn't be able to make it without Him mm. and I pretty much I feel like spoiled <laughs> by Him because He's been always there for me and for my children. And what would you give as an advice for people who go through suffering? You went through suffering. What would you give them an advice? What should they do in the process when they don't see God? Well, just keep praying mm -hmm. always because God always listens. And I tell my kids, life is better with God than without Him. Mm -hmm. And um, so He loves us. Mm -hmm. very much he's always waiting for us and, and helping us even if we believe that he's not there sometimes 
and you can I think it's a nice story you know about the the money you got to come here can you tell that it's a real life story how God is helping you yes yes when I booked the trip I I, I thought that I was gonna take uh, that money from my savings mm -hmm. and I wasn't sure if I should mm -hmm. but then I knew that my daughter mm -hmm. just graduated mm -hmm. and she will probably won't have time to go with me in a pilgrimage later in her life when she starts working so I said well God I'm gonna take the money I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna take go out, no. and, and I'm just gonna just like that I mean <laughs> a week later I I got three clients closing deals and, and and I added up and it was exactly the money that I spent and more and I was like God you you just did Spoiling it you me. know so. you spoiled me because you didn't give me just the money for the trip you gave me some extra to mm. spend there mm -hmm. so I was like really thinking that he was sending me, sending me a sign mm -hmm. absolutely no? yes and for you the most beautiful part of Medjugorje what do you like most um the top of the hill top of the hill mm -hmm. the overview the view yeah it's your energy it's peace yeah you went to adoration outdoor out adoration you have the violin the music oh i heard the violin at the mass yeah. but not at adoration yeah, yeah. it's melinda mm -hmm. uh, and um what would you tell people why come to Medjugorje one time? Um, I think it was a good experience to come with family. Mm -hmm. It brings you closer. Brings you closer, no? Mm -hmm. It touches the heart, no? Mm -hmm. You need handkerchiefs here, no? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A lot, me too. You can't imagine. Yesterday morning crying, after the day before at Mass, I was crying. The lady next to me said, what the heck is going on with that guy now? <laughs> And yeah. you went to the Risen Christ. How was the experience for you at the Risen Christ? Which one was the Risen Christ? The, 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 the statue where the, the, the water is coming oh. out of the... Oh, um, I'm very logical, yeah. so it just didn't seem real. Uh -huh. It seems a little bit fake, but I mean, yeah, it's it's just, you just have to believe it's real, I guess. Did you find a hole where it came out of the water? Or? Not like a hole, it just looks like it's, you know how like, uh, iron has just like its imperfections and it just looked like it had like a little imperfection it was coming out of there but who knows who knows what it is yeah yeah uh -huh. and for you how was it for you well we were waiting in the line mm -hmm. the line was long mm -hmm. and my daughter was like yeah right and mm -hmm. you know all the people go there like it. and we really I didn't know what to expect Mm -hmm. So I said, let's, okay, like, don't waste your time. So let's just go together. Mm -hmm. And we went up there. And when I look at the leg of Christ, just the tear came out. And I was like, wow, I never thought I was going to see it coming out. Mm -hmm. So it was very touching. I was feeling like God was telling me how he feels. <laughs> wow. Yeah, wow. yeah, and, and and I told her in in week I had to come back. Uh -huh. So last night I went and I didn't even on a longer line mm -hmm. to be there, and I took a video, mm -hmm. and I sent the video to a lot of friends so they can see it that it's true. Yeah. And um, you got a favorite saint? I'm sorry. Favorite saint? A saint? Like saint Anne? Saint? Pio, or oh, have I have a lot of, uh, well, first Our Lady, one? Our Lady, Our Lady yeah. the secret, sacred heart of Jesus, always. Uh -huh. um, um, oh, gosh, I have um, San Antonio. San Antonio. Ooh, yeah. Oh, he's wonderful. I always find everything when I ask him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I lost it. This helped me. Mm -hmm. uh, Padre Pio, wow. In there's a lot of good saints. Uh, uh, when, when they intercede for you, they help you? Yes. 
Yes, San Monica, right, right now. I've been praying a lot to her because I have kids, right? Everybody who have children. Understand what's going on. My mother said, little children, little problem. Big children, big problem. <laughs> yeah, exactly. In San Joseph, always San Joseph, pray for us. Yes. You have favorite song? How is it for you? Um, or not yet, maybe? Not yet. I don't think so. It's time. Maybe and soon. You have a favorite Bible scripture somehow? Or something out of the Bible you like which inspires you? Um Corinthians I don't know exactly, but uh, love is patient, love is kind. Mm-hmm. That's how you look mm -hmm. a very peaceful, very patient, very kind. Yeah, I hope so. I try. We mm are. -hmm. Yeah. And for you Bible scripture? Oh my gosh! So um, something what comes up, you, know, you don't, don't need to know the, the just the, the the sense of this, what what inspires you, what you like. Well, um, I think it's Ezekiel, mm -hmm. and he says that um, he will never leave us. God will never leave us. He's faithful. Probably it's not that. <laughs> it's not that book but that is that is powerful oh, okay, right? he will never leave us you make the experience as well no? mm -hmm. Me too. yes, yes. Never, yes. in the unexpected moment no? okay. yes and then when I receive the Eucharist mm -hmm. I remember you know I'm I'm there with him because mm -hmm. he will never leave us yes, he left us that gift no the Eucharist yes you pray the rosary I do why do you pray the rosary? Why? Mm -hmm. uh, well, it gives gives me a lot of peace. Mm -hmm. I feel really, really good. I forget the problems and the stress. But I always pray it for for my children, for me, for the souls in purgatory. There are so many things to pray for, know. right? For the sick, for my friends, my family. Have you, see, you see results that you pray the rosary and something happened also. Oh yeah. Yeah, for example, when, yeah. when my kids started growing up mm -hmm. and they, uh, they went out mm -hmm. and I called them and they didn't answer their phone, I started praying the rosary. Mm -hmm. And it was like, I mean, I didn't even finish. And then they, they would text me or call me and say, hey, what do you want? <laughs> but, yeah, I was like, but I was like, it's okay. Now I know they are, they are okay. Mm -hmm. and, oh, yeah. Wow, beautiful. And the, the, so that's for the parents, no? Take up the rosary. Oh yes. <laughs> because there are situations you don't know where, where they are, no? what they do. And um, you know, confession is very central in Medjugorje. What is confession for you? Do you go to confession? I go to confession. I couldn't go here. Mm -hmm. uh, I really wanted to go. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I mean, you go and you repent. I tried to prepare for confessions for two or three days and write it on a paper mm -hmm. wow. <laughs> and, uh, or on my phone. Yeah, mm -hmm. because then when I get in front of the priest, I get nervous and I forget. So I write it a nice in, to do. in, in yeah. a piece of paper or on my phone and then I go to confession. And it's so wonderful. God forgives you for all the things we do. Mm -hmm. And he forgives you. He forgives us so it's, it's wonderful you i feel light after that right <laughs> for you you go yet confession or? i haven't been in a while mm -hmm. try it out it's a pain relief you will see yeah it does lift a weight off your shoulders you see you experience that as well right? mm -hmm. that's what it does that yeah really and that day yeah, and what would you tell people why come to magic Life? for you yeah what is the speciality why you should make this Friends if you, you want a different um, experience, I guess, like religious experience than from what you're used to. Come here. Mm -hmm. well, and for you? Well, for me, it's like being in a retreat. Mm -hmm. um, we went to the Holy Land and it was beautiful, mm -hmm. but here ah. is really, really spiritual. Yeah. It's more spiritual yeah, even than, than the, the Holy, Holy Land. Land. Yes. So I would tell everybody to come okay. uh, yeah. and stay for longer, yeah. <laughs> at least for a week, yeah. because there's, you need time, you know, to be with, 
talking to God, going to Mass, and sharing with all of the Catholics here. I never saw so many Catholics together. And we talked about it, maybe we should, in our home parish, start something like this, that the coffee after the Mass, that people connect and talk to each other, no? Mm -hmm. Especially in this time of this divide and disconnection, it would be nice, no? Yes, yes. Maybe that's a mission for somebody who's listening right now, after church, organize a, a coffee, bring some cake, that people can start talking to each other, no? Yes, yes, more casual, you know? Mm -hmm. Have time to talk about Jesus, like coffee with Jesus or coffee something like Jesus. that. <laughs> yeah, because we did that right now here, no? That's how we met. Yes, yes. Let's talk a little yes. bit. Wow, thank you so much, both of you, for that nice interview. Thank you. Thank you.